Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to configure an email notification to the requester at a specific point in the safety issue process. The safety application is really coming along nicely as a system of record. We've built out quite a bit in a short amount of time with no coding at all. Now it's time to make the system a bit more proactive. The safety department has requested that the requester get an email sent to them when the issue is complete. Again, I'll start by going to Studio, opening up my safety application, and creating a new notification found here. A friendly name helps me identify this notification, but is otherwise not visible to the recipient. I tell the system which table to watch for record updates and I'm going to check updated to watch for record updates. I don't need to check inserted since new records won't start in a closed state. And rather than identifying several closed states when to send the notification, I'll just use the active flag changing from true to false to send out this notification. I tell the system who will get the message here. It's going to use the value from the open by field rather than a static value. A short subject, which also uses information from the sort description field, and some text to let them know a little more information with a link back to their issue. After I save the record, I can use the preview notification button to test it. And if I see a red strike through on the recipients list, I can hover over it and do a little proactive debugging. In this case, Howard has all his email notifications disabled. I can fix that in his profile. Using the same technique, I can send additional email notifications when issues are created, approval is required, or obtained or anywhere else in the safety issue process. For more information about creating email notifications, visit the link shown here on our product documentation page. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.